the Houston Texans in the playoffs for the first time in franchise history. Gary Kubiak having an outstanding year, 10-6. And, and there is the third-round quarterback, Yates. now the starting quarterback, T.J. Yates. Andy Dalton with a great rookie season. Played three games in Reliance Stadium, two in high school and a one at TCU. Here comes Andy Dalton looking for A.J. Green. Pass interference on Glover Quinn. Prime, you like the call? Yeah. I really don't because it's against the defensive back. If you're going to get past interference, do it because you don't want to give up that big play. That could result into a touchdown. 52-yard penalty gives the Bengals a first and 10. A couple of plays later now, and it's Dalton dumps it off to Brian Leonard. Good call. 16 yards down to the one. And on the very next play, it's Cedric Benson. And, Phillip, this is just how the Bengals wanted to start. Great start. Uh, you're on the road. The playoff game, uh, and you go right down the field, five plays, 74 yards for a touchdown. And now they got a conference, all the quarterbacks there, <laughs> both Mats, Jake DeLome, and Jeff Garcia, all talking to TJ Yates. Arian Foster, 20 yards down the left side. Foster, the NFL's leading rusher a year ago. And now it's Yates with plenty of time to Owen Daniels, who's hit by Reggie Nelson, drew a flag again. there. Here we go with this he again. He can't hit anybody. That, that's, that's terrible. I can say it, I can't get fined anymore, huh? Yeah, you, yeah, you, will, you will not get fined sitting up here. It's just terrible. Looked like Nelson hit him in the shoulder That was area. a clean uh, hit. There's no helmets involved. He have, he, he, doesn't he have equipment on? The call was hitting that the the helmet neck bad. region. I agree with you. Call was bad. <laughs> Arian Foster for eight yards. Game's tied up at seven. And Foster got a Texans logo. Ooh, if I could grow hair, I'd do the same. Carbs in there. I we can grow it in the back. <laughs> Second quarter here, Dalton <laughs> looking for A.J. Green, 21 yards. And what a connection Dalton and Green had throughout the regular season. But these are the, the plays that a young quarterback cannot take. Dalton the sack here. That was at the 23-yard line, so it backed him up nine yards. Mike Lugent missed a 50-yard field goal. When you're on the road in the playoffs, can't happen. Next Bengals possession. Dalton looking for Donald Lee. Lee gets away. 36 yards. And there is a flag on this play as well. You can't see it here at the very end. Antonio Smith was called for unnecessary roughness. So this time, Nugent was able to knock home a 37-yarder. Bengals on top, 10-7. to seven. Key third and four here. Yates to Owen Daniels for eight yards. That's a great job of going through his progressions. Great job. It's a catch, but Marvin Lewis with some early challenges, Philip. This one was a little surprising because it looked like it was a catch. It was a catch, and it's, you know, it's a crucial third down, so you, it, it could have a chance for a change of possession. But, you know, if you had a chance to look at the replay we're looking at, uh, there's no way you'd challenge that one. Well, this is the second quarter, and that was the Bengals' second challenge already in the game, so they were out of challenges. T.J. Yates, Andre Johnson, he came back last week. That's third and nine. That's what he's been missing, mm -hmm. a go-to guy on third down. 12th play of the drive here, and it's Yates looking for Johnson. But it's incomplete. Kelly Jennings there on the coverage. No flags there. He looked back. Great play. Yeah, yeah no, that. absolutely. He Good missed one. that. So Rackers did a 39-yard field goal, 101 left here in the half. Dalton. Picked mm. off by J.J. Watt. Hold it up. Look at the number. I like the number, too. Who's going the other way. And, Jason, what happened on this play? This is something you've done throughout your career as well. But this is a tremendous play here by Watt. This is a great job by J.J. Watt. Realizing it's a three-step drop. The ball's going to come out quick, so you're not going to get to the quarterback. Get your hands up and try to knock it down. Now, he's probably going to tell you he meant to pick this off, and he, he – but it's a pretty darn good play. It's a you big look man's at, dream. That is a that is a great play. Huge momentum shift there. 17 to 10. Texans on top. Third quarter. Third and nine here. Bengals trying to get something going. Yates sacked by Reggie Nelson. And so the Bengals now back on offense. Andy Dalton to Ryan Whalen. 20 yards. Big time throw. Three plays later on a third and eight. It's Dalton. But he's going to be sacked again by Antonio Smith. How much of a difference has Wade Phillips' prime meant to this defense? Everything. One man's trash is another man's treasure. Texans Dallas Cowboys. Now. Back on offense. Oh! oh! Chris Crocker could have been going the other way. Game changer. You cannot make these mistakes in the postseason. These are to well, that's, that, that separates the good from the great. Great players make those plays. Ed Reed will still be running right now. 
because, Philip, look what's continued to happen on this drive. Here's Yates now to Andre Johnson on a crucial third and six. We've shown about three or four crucial third down conversions kept drives alive uh, by T.J. Yates, really him just making plays. Ninth play of the drive here, and Andre Johnson had the double move on Adam Jones. And Johnson gets in for the touchdown. Yates, 11-20, 157 yards, and that touchdown right there. Brian, what happened here? That's a game plan play. You, you know, Adam Jones is the aggressive corner. You want to take advantage of an aggressive cornerback. Play to his strength. Texans on top, 24-10, 17 unanswered points. What a swing there. Remember that Crocker miss on that interception. Ooh. Jerome Simpson. This week he's a hurdler. He's going to jump through the goalposts one day. He's going to get caught in the I'm air one he's day. He's going to get a fast. touchdown and an extra point in one play. Up over Bryce McCain last week, of course, he did the amazing flip and he stuck the landing. Fourth quarter, Bengals save drive. But this time, Jason, Earl Mitchell gets to Dalton. And the Texans, their front three, front seven did a great job. Yeah, that was the first drive of the fourth quarter there, and that's the way to start it out. Defensively, to make a big stop like that and take, get a big sack, I mean, that's, that's what uh, Houston wanted to do. Very next plan, a second and 19. Andy Dalton wishes he had that one back, overthrows Jerome Simpson, and now it's Dalton to Jermaine Gresham for 16 yards, but it's short of the first down. And so now on a fourth and three, Bengals are going to pump, and Gary Kubiak calls a timeout, so Marvin Lewis changes his mind, sends his offense back on the field, fourth and three. And Dalton realizes right away he's in trouble. Trying to make a play, though, just put it up there for something to happen. And then roll with that. Jonathan Joseph comes up with the interception. Had he knocked it down, they would have had the ball yeah, that's at a much better play. place. But, Prime, look I know you like footwork. the interception. Yeah, I like yeah. the pace. <laughs> but look at that footwork. Look at the vision. Look at the patience. That's a man. Pay that man. And, Philip, we talked about it here. As you see James Casey get the ball. Texans weren't going to put the ball up in the air now. They just want to run the clock. Yeah. I understand the call. I'm not real sure about the ball carrier, but I, I do understand the call. <laughs> Texans were forced to punt after they didn't board on third down. And then here, Dalton picked off by Daniel Manning. Keep in mind, Marvin Lewis doesn't have any challenges left. Not that he necessarily would have challenged here, but it was close as to whether Manning got that back foot down. Good job. That's the way to go to go, to go and get it at its highest point. Great job. Texans now trying to. Put a fork into the Bengals. Mm. Give it to Arian oh. Foster. Close your eyes. Do you see this, man? Pushes Crocker out of the way. 42 yards for the touchdown. I hope Crocker kids are asleep. <laughs> Texans on top, 31 I to 10. I wouldn't even go in the house if you did me like that. Man, I got kids. You, can't, you cannot do me like that. How about Arian Foster? 24 carries, 153 yards, and a couple of touchdowns as the quarterbacks have a conversation. There's owner Bob McNair of the Texans, Andre Johnson. They get their first postseason victory in franchise history. The Texans roll 31 to 10. So next week they're going to face the Baltimore Ravens next Sunday. Foster rushing for 153 yards. Yates completing just 11 passes for 159 yards. But the Texas are moving on.